Happy Friday, everybody. Well, I got a beautiful one for you this week. Scallop croquettes with a lemon tarragon cream sauce. Delicious, paired with, you got it, paired with Selkie Frizzante from our friends at Yoast Winery. Fantastic. Well, folks, it's stormy outside, but it's really cozy in here. Come sit down and relax a little bit and watch this dish. So, we're gonna take these beautiful scallops. They're, uh, I'm using a 2040. You don't have to, you can use scallop pieces. These, and I'm gonna just cut them up a little bit. And um, just, there's no rhyme or reason because we're going to puree them. 15 seconds about scallops. Did you know that scallops are 80% protein? One three ounce serving of scallops equals 20 grams of protein, only 95 calories. They are a great source of magnesium and potassium, and as a curiosity, they sometimes make pearl stew. So we just cut these up a little bit. We're going to puree these. Really, it serves eight people nicely. It's an appetizer. Um, if you want more, go ahead and add more scallops to it. Now we're just going to quickly puree this. Some of you purists out there will be going, no, don't do it. Well, where do you taste it? And you'll understand why we're making this into a puree. So when I'm doing this, remember not to drain the juice because it'll get really gooey. Okay, so we've got to do a little bit of sauteing here. It's going to take about six minutes. Quarter cup of butter, just like that. Two cloves of freshly chopped garlic. Then we want to add a cup of finely chopped onion. Make sure it's finely chopped. Another cup of finely chopped carrots. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper and salt. And we will cook it for about six minutes on medium heat. Let's make the pulse for a little wine. One of the characteristics of this uh, wine, the silky frizzante. I love that word, frizzante. It's slightly sparkling. It's not like champagne bubbly, but it's got a nice silent little bubble to it. It's so crisp. Oh, and the floral notes in it are amazing. You smell, right away you smell peach. And, and when you taste it, that's, you, you've got kiwi and peach together. Oh my goodness. Okay, back to work. Next stop, two thirds of a cup of flour. We'll stir that in there, get it all over the carrots and onion. You don't want to burn it. And then we'll drizzle a cup and a half of milk. We don't want to put it in all at once, just a little at a time. We're going to whisk this until it's all smooth. Just a little bit at a time. And we want to make this all creamy. After adding all the milk, you want to cook it for about a minute. So, we're almost there. We're going to take it off the heat. Okay, so we just add the scallop uh, mixture, the pureed scallop, and we're going to put a couple of tablespoons of uh, fresh chopped parsley and a little bit more salt and pepper. And we're gonna mix this up. Now, what we have to do is we want this to cool down a little bit because we're going to make it into a croquette. But before we fry these off, because we want this to cool down, I'm going to show you this very simple to do lemon cream sauce, and it's with tarragon in it, and it just gives a tremendous balance um, to the croquette. And then when you add this wine, oh, fantastic. Tarragon cream sauce. Okay, so real easy. We're taking a tablespoon of butter, we're going to warm that up right away. And right away, we're going to hit that with two tablespoons of tarragon. It could be dried or fresh. Mix it in there. Oh, smell the tarragon. There's a perfume and a half. Mmm. And then we're going to take a whole cup of whipping cream. And you can immediately see how the cream takes the color of the tarragon. Beautiful. We want to add the salt and pepper. Look at that. And we're going to stir this Mix and simmer it for about a minute and a half. Now we're going to keep it simmering to reduce it to about half. 
and that takes about three to four minutes. So we're reducing this to about half the volume. You can see it getting creamier and thicker as we go along here. And at the very end, we're going to add a teaspoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice and then keep it warm. That's the recipe for the tarragon cream sauce. Really simple, delicious. Okay, there you go. One teaspoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Stir that, and we want to keep that on warm. Let's assemble. Real easy here. One cup of all-purpose flour, four lightly beaten eggs, and a cup of very fine breadcrumbs. It's all you need, and we needed this uh, mixture, our puree mixture here, to just be cooled down, and we're gonna make some uh, croquettes. It's all you do, and yeah, it's a little bit messy. Nothing wrong with that. That's what cooking's all about. And we just wanna roll that guy into that, into the egg wash, get it all covered, and then into that breadcrumb like so. And we're going to repeat that until this is all done. Okay, well, here's the easy part. We're just going to put these beautiful morsels. You can notice that I've taken them and just flattened them out a little bit into almost the size of a hockey puck. And we're going to get these happening right now. You don't want to overcrowd the basket. I'm going to do six in here. Like that. Three to five minutes until golden brown. They'll come out beautiful. Then we're going to drizzle that amazing tarragon cream on top of it, and then pair it right up here with this guy. And here we go, folks, just like that. Beautiful scallop croquettes. smother it on there, but put a little bit on. You'll probably come back for more of it. Little lemon wedge. There it is. Well folks, my favorite time. I get to try this in front of you all. You must try this dish, it really is wonderful. And please try to pick up a bottle of this Selkie Frizzante. Fantastic, the, the kiwi and the peach note in here, phenomenal. So, well, here goes. Let's see here, we just cut into there. You can taste that tarragon and it's the cream in there with, oh my goodness, delicious. And you can see. Well, thanks folks for coming in and hope you enjoyed this uh, appetizer this Friday afternoon. Uh, another wicked one coming up next week. So thanks again and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Captain Kenny's Galley, thanks for coming. <laughs>